Oh, Chad, you pal. Let Chad work. Okay. All right, so if it's everybody... Just, it's on one person, right? One person tent, yeah? Like yeah looking, okay. looking for camping no, spots. we can flood it up. Okay, back at Escalante Cabin and RV Park. We got all our tents and everything set up for the night. So we're gonna heat up some pasta and some soup and uh, try to get a good night's sleep. It's a bit, a bit brisk out here. It's not, it's not warm. You would think the end of May, almost the beginning of June, would be toasty out in uh, Utah, but Escalante, the weather just changes and fluctuates like crazy, so. Oh my gosh. <laughs> we just made it. We just did Bryce. So we're like, oh, but the weather was snowing over there. I was like, oh. I know, huh? <laughs> Brought a friend this. That's Johan, that's Livia. So I first met Janae and her husband Steve in the summer of 2017, when they were Incredible. just starting to build this amazing cabin in RV Park. We were lucky enough to have them as one of our sponsors on that first big trip Crazy almost three right years here. ago, <laughs> and I was excited to see them again. Now Steve is a true, real deal cowboy. And myself, growing up in Nebraska, I immediately bonded with him. Steve's like, these damn city slickers. Ever since I started this idea, I've had too much to do. Now, this is not what the main so clubhouse looked like three years ago. Yeah, and I was amazed at how much they had accomplished since good, the last time good. I was here. Oh, man, this looks amazing. Way different than when we slept in it. Yeah. <laughs> they didn't have any cabins built the first time we came. So they had agreed to let us put our sleeping bags inside the newly built clubhouse. Super cabin they're trying to get together. The clubhouse. So I guess this is like the communal place that they're going to let them use. I think it's the first time I'd ever camped inside of a brand new building. Got at least this five-star accommodation. But man, we had a blast. And I'm all with my sleeping I'm falling apart. All right, stop. Hopefully you don't roll you tonight. Oh my God. I have stairs. Your problems are so nice. What is this? Must be nice. It is. <laughs> <laughs> um, Guys, I have the inverter. Oh, yeah, Lini's got an inverter. <laughs> yes, How are you doing? Uh, Excited to sleep uh, in the tent tonight? Mm -hmm. Are you? Hope I won't get too Vegas. cold. That's what I'm talking yeah, about. All right. all right, so we're going to get a little fire going and oh, get this night started. It? So look at my little house. <laughs> I've been prepared, JP, since I've got him. Yeah. Since he came from me yeah. for this time, guys. So I'm super excited. Yeah. I just put this like yoga mat and then my sleeping bag. Yeah. And then I have my sleeping bag. Yeah. And then I have this little blanket insulation. Yeah. And then the Pillow, nice. Pillow. You can read your little Kindle tonight. I, I will. You <laughs> did. 
We settled in for the night, enjoying the last of the amenities, as we were nearing the backcountry portion of our trip in a couple days. We indulged in the last of the real food we brought, as here on out, it was going to be freeze-dried meals for the next five days. We got some bagel pop. Chad, you want a bagel? Where's Chad? Go, 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 run, 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 run. How the girls feel? How'd you all sleep last night? The half of the night was pretty good. The other half was pretty cool. How about you? It was fine for me. Are there any lessons you want to tell girls that go camping in a tent? Don't, what to do? Don't go camping in a tent, girls. It's, it's too hard, yeah. It's better to just don't go. Just yesterday, you were like, we should go camping twice a month. There you go. There is a beat. And what did you discover last night sleeping? Caracol. Yeah. Caracol. Like a little Nail. baby. And then someone had a little motel room last night. Yeah. Fancy <laughs> one, but at four o'clock in the morning, it was pretty cold. Okay, so we're on Hole in the Rock Road, as you can see. It's a little rough, but right now we're about 3.7 miles away from uh, Peekaboo Gulch. Jews excited to take some pictures in a slot canyon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Leanie's prep, ready to go. Ready to go. <laughs> ready for go. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, just made it in. So just a warning, you need a high clearance vehicle to get that last mile. I got the footage, yeah. I was filming. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I know. I could go under the car. Yeah. Here we go. The trail has you descend 200 feet to the valley floor as you follow the rock cairns to the entrance of Dry Fork Narrows, also known as Erie Slot. Yeah. Good job, guys. If you are ever in Escalante, I highly suggest spending an entire day exploring what I like to call a playground for adults. Yeah. We don't need 
No more trouble. Nice. God damn it. Got you. Where is it? It ain't happening. It ain't happening. Here, you hold that. Hold on a second. I thought you were going to let these people pass away. Oh, sorry. That's not great. 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 Huh? Great. 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 This one's dry fork. It's supposed to be dry. Ah, oh, dude. I think I'll take the other one. Wait, I could have a bowl for us. It's possible. Yeah, there's a little bit. So, don't think I'm going to come up. Yeah, it's a pinha for the Kylan. It's so stick for me. That was easy. Did you see where I stepped? There we go. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, you could do it with a rope. From here, y'all. So yeah. Up?